Hi, and warm welcome to a Quantum Astrology Report from me, Eva Christofferson, the Soul Warrior Energy Channel. We have a full moon at the Royal Fixed Star Aldebaran and the Royal Fixed Star Antares, the 29th of May, and that's the main energy blow. Magic full moon. Completion of the last cycle since the so fantastic Visak full moon and then the new moon in Taurus and now this in Gemini Sagittarius full moon. So <laughs> I want to remind you of my sale 30% off the star seed reading. You can order it. It will cost you 126 US dollar the, on sale. The ordinary, my ordinary price is 180 US dollars. And uh, that's the ordinary price is about half what the US Canadian astrologers take for a starseed reading. And it's a fantastic awakening moment to step in the energies from the soul origin from other planet systems. And it's so much awakening about this in the full moon and the period now for the star seeds and for the twin flames and for every light workers. So check the details below you can mail me or you can mess in use messenger on facebook uh, <coughs> for the full moon in gemini sagittarius aldebaran antares i picked this rune in the swedish uh, version and it's radios radios radio uh, that's the wagon, the wheel to travel the journey. And that's what it's all about. And it said perhaps you 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 can take the opportunity and create your own journey. That's what we are doing. And then also I picked from the Quantum Tarot, I picked this card, number 17 in the big arcade. That's the star, the string theory. You see the beautiful star here and the water bearer down there. And this is about um, the illumination, the Aldebaran light on everything. And it's also about the new, our vision for the new world. The hopes, the creation of the new world, the ascension, the age of Aquarius. And we are in the midst of this right now. To leave the old mind control 3D fear system and go into the fourth and fifth dimension of heart chakra opening illumination, light, peace, love. And for the full moon, I wish you a really, really good day these days. And I will show the chart and check the energies. So here in Sweden, it will be the 29th of May, the full moon at 4.20 p.m. here in Sweden. That means that it's 10.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in U.S. <coughs> and sun will be at 8 degrees 10 minutes in Gemini and moon at 8 degrees 10 minutes in Sagittarius. And here at 10 degrees zero, zero, zero is the royal fixed star Aldebaran. And here is the royal fixed star Antares at 10 degrees exactly in Sagittarius. And 
the royal fixed the Aldeban, it's the bull's eyes, the third eye, the illumination, the archangel Michael, the leader of the archangels, it's the Buddha star that was up here with the Vesak and the new moon. And this is a magic activation of the light workers of everything within everyone of light to shine a light on the dark and transmute it with the Gemini alchemy to transmute hate to love, dark to light. <laughs> Gemini ruled by Mercury. It's about communication, it's about connections, it's about expression, it's also about this interconnection between heaven and earth here on earth, alchemy, to transmute. And Mercury at this full moon is at 29 degrees 11 minutes in Taurus at Pleiades, our parents. And I recommend if you haven't seen my videos about the teaching circles on Lemuria that went on for 30, 40,000 years. That was the start of our journey within from the beginning so that we now can be here today and ascend thanks to the Pleiadians, thanks to the mothers from Pleiades and thanks to all we that were there and all humans that has been creating this magnificent moment in life. <coughs> Uh, we then have moon at 8 degrees 10 minutes, and remark, 8 uh, plus 10, that's 9, the spirit, the quantum spirit, the totality, the magic 9 in numerology, and my curious what 29, 11, that's 11, 11, the manifestation of the spiritual warrior. Moon, the, our emotional feminine inner, is at royal fixed star Antares, the archangel Uriel, the watcher of the north, the earth. And it's also an interdimensional portal to other dimensions, other timelines, and also other star systems and other galaxies. For example, Andromeda galaxy incarnates here or leaves here can be at other points also the Andromeda constellation also but this is a very important dimensional portal and this axis is said that if you can manage to heal and find the zero point of balance in this axis you evolve into the heart chakra into the love into the fourth and fifth dimension and it's also Antares Mars called Mars on steroids, so you need to have your divine masculine energy in balance and working. And Mars is here at um, uh, the South Node in Aquarius, the magic Aquarius, our quantum room that is so original and it's our, it's our origin from, from space, from within and Mars, our divine masculine energy. It's also twin flame awakening here, and star seed awakening with this Mars at the south node, taking actions for this and finding the in independence, the freedom of the Aquarius. And the ruler of Sagittarius, where the full moon is, is Jupiter, the wisdom. Sagittarius is about finding the wisdom and, and from this communication and Gemini, the polarity with the Gemini expression and the Sagittarius truth finder, the inner wisdom. And we have Jupiter in Scorpio here revealing the hidden secrets in a very close, tried, easy flowing energy with the quantum spirit Neptune in Pisces. So this is magic times again. It's so 
big energy is coming to us from our great central sun, from our sun, from the solar flares, from the stars, from the planets. Everything collaborating to evolve us. And it's a lot about letting go of the old, of what we have stored in ourselves, to relax and find gratitude and joy in what's ev everything. And we have <coughs> Pluto, our soul, and our really life changer, and Saturn. And these two has been known to give very hard lessons. But those lessons are the blessings, that's the gift. Now we need to find the gratitude in everything that comes. So we find and see the love in what's happening with us. So we see the mirror, so we see ourselves, so we can evolve. Because if we try to control situations, if we try to suppress or try to uh, stay in the old, we, we have resistance. And then we are left in the lack and fear consciousness. To leave that, we le need to give up every resistance, every form of control. We can't control anything about what's happening. Our soul is in command. So we have to find the freedom in that, to rely, trust on our own soul that is giving us all the experience that we need. That's not easy. I have challenges with uh, economy and with my hip and physical pain. But that's the meaning for me right now to, to find the opportunities and the joy in life and really step out of the lack consciousness and the fears. And to be in that supreme love vibration that we have with Venus in the home of cancer, the nurturing, caring cancer with the love, uh, divine feminine Venus here. So much love. It's like floating in the ocean of love, finding the freedom and joy in everything that's happening. And Venus is in opposition to Saturn. We have a very important finger of God that I have speak, spoken about, but it's, it's so very active here at this full moon, exactly at this full moon. We have the sun, eight degrees, 10 minutes. We have a sextile to the North Node. Our royal application, illumination to be the light here on earth with all our person, all that the personality that we are in three-dimensional and higher, accepting all of us, not judging ourselves, really stand up, taking our power back, this royal Leo here, with the royal fixed star Aldebaran, the magic energy, and both of these are in 150 in conjunct aspect to our reality, Saturn, here on Earth integrity of Saturn that has given us lessons and giving us lessons now how to land manifest this energy here on earth and Saturn is retrograde that is going within finding reminding yourself of your inner knowledge check your star seed origin for example so this finger of God is so strong it's so exact in the minutes here so Take these energies and find the joy, the meditation, the love, the creation in all that happens to you, all that happens to you. We also have a beautiful big trine between Neptune, our quantum spirit, to divine feminine love, Venus, and down to Jupiter and Scorpio here and back to Neptune. Easy flowing water energy of this love flow and revealing the secrets. And it's highly posit 
possible now that we as Sam, so many light workers are working so much with this in such a good way. So we can ascend gradually, we don't need that big smash. Perhaps there will be this autumn and we'll, there will be earthquakes and polar shifts, etc. in this period, but it will be going gradually, you understand? Going step by step. Since we're doing this process with all that happens, so we don't need that big cataclysmic. It will be in some way so much changing, life changing, and of realities and of the dimensions from three dimension up to fourth and fifth dimension. But it won't be any catastrophe that it has been in earlier. Uh, experience of a similar try. Now we are managing to to move into this new ascension of the earth. So use this, and of course, this love planet is at the fixed star series. So important the determination of the series. For example, Jesus of Sananda. Jesus Christ was from here and Mother Mary. And many of the stars here, for example, me, are from Sirius. Uh, in my readings, not that many are from Pleiades, but they are very important. Uh, Sirius and Arcturians at the same uh, latitude. You have, as I live, you have ascendant at fixed star Seginus in Arcturus. And everything now is collaborating for this ascension on Earth. So use this full moon energy to transform your life, to make it shining life in freedom of love. Thank you very much for listening. And thank you very much for being here in this magical times. Bye-bye.